To get your library data into Music One, you first need to get audio tag information exported to a comma-separated text file. Music One can import other types of text files, like fixed width files or tab delimited, and if you need to import one of those types, you should contact the Music One Tech Support Office for information about how it's done. But Music One has a built-in function to import comma-separated files, and for most webcasters, it's the quickest and the easiest way to do it. And there's free software available to get the job done. The two we like best are MP3 Tag and MediaMonkey. The standard edition is free. You can get it from MediaMonkey.com. With MediaMonkey installed and loaded, here's what to do. Open the File menu and tell it to add, rescan, tracks to the library. The first time you do this, all your hard drives will be selected. You don't want to scan your entire system, because if you do, MediaMonkey would then bring in every audio track on your system, including all the little beeps and bops and Windows sounds. So, first, uncheck all of the drives. And then, click the plus button next to the drive that contains your audio folders. Scroll down and check only the folder or folders that contain your webcast audio. In the Add File Types box, you can select only the types of audio files that you want MediaMonkey to read. You see it can read all types, from AAC to CDs, AUG files, WAV, and Windows Media Audio. Check only the audio file types that you use in your webcast, and then click OK. And MediaMonkey scans the directories and imports all of the tag data. When it's finished, Click the Title folder in the left column and see your file data. Most people will find some tags have missing information or maybe the information is wrong in some of the fields. Maybe they left out a title or an artist or maybe they got the artist name appearing in the title field of a song. You should look closely at your tags to see if there are any mistakes or missing data. If you see something that needs to be corrected, then right-click on the song and select Properties. This screen will appear displaying all of the tag fields, and you can then make your correction. You can also do it from the list. This is another way. You can click on the song that needs correcting, and then carefully click one more time on the specific field that needs a fix, and type in the correct information. Then when you click to another song, your update will be registered and saved. When you're ready, you can export the data for a single song, or a group of songs, or the entire library. To export just a few songs, hold the Control key on the keyboard and click to select each song. To export the entire library, click to select the first song and scroll to the bottom of the list, then hold down the Shift key and click the final song in the list. With the songs you want to export highlighted, to export the data, open the File menu, select Create Reports, select Track List CSV, give the report a name, and then click to tell the computer to save the report to your desktop so it'll be easy to find. You can delete the file after you've imported the data into Music One. This done, you're ready to import the data into Music One. See the other video about how that's done.